from time to time, I get this question on my channel, which is like, can you tell me how to begin with this hacking, penetration testing, etc., for complete beginners? Now, uh, yes, I can, after I take a little sip, you get it, yes, I can, but actually I can give you a little bit of hints, which is outlined here as a text, but nobody reads text, so we can have it nicer as an image. You can find the image uh, via the community tab. It's on my webpage. It's zenit.xyz and here you have the ethical hackers roadmap right at the top of the website. Uh, I got inspired by a video by, of the Cyber Mentor to create this kind of roadmap and you can watch it, you can download it, you can read it. It's just a simple overview of what skills you may need if you want to become an ethical hacker. Of course, certifications, etc., are like an additional thing you can do to get a credit for what you actually know. There are two camps, some are not too fond of vacation. Others say, well, well, certifications are at least cheaper than a degree. It uh, depends where you're from, uh, where I'm from, degrees are usually subsidized. So I've made it into five categories, which doesn't really mean that you have to go through them in this category. Uh, so I think category one and two, which is basic computer knowledge and networking knowledge should be like the foundation that you start on and then you can uh, move on to one of the other trees like coding knowledge, Linux knowledge, cybersecurity knowledge. I wouldn't just go for cybersecurity knowledge unless you plan on doing something more in the realm of managing teams or overseeing stuff. If you want to go into the hacking, you have to know the technical stuff like coding and Linux and networking as well. Most of these resources uh, you can get for most of the certifications and things you can get free resources to learn the things uh, if you want to show future employer that you understand the things you can also do the corresponding certifications like CompTIA plus network plus security plus etc etc which are all on this image and as you can see here i also spelled out cs degree that's because essentially all these basic skills are what you learn learn during a CS degree to a certain part. Once that is done, you can then build on your foundation to go on to do something like the OSCP or the ECPPT V2, etc., etc., and show future employer that you can actually hack. Fantastic. Okay. If you want some more free resources, you can check out the description down below or go to the community post that I'm mentioning over here. There are some free resources like Hacker 101, Port Swigger, Web Security, YouTube channels like mine, John Hammond, Live Overflow, Network Shock, Ginwell, etc., etc. Also, there are things like Hack the Box and Try Hack Me, which you can start for free. But if you want to support the channel, you can also get a VIP subscription down in the description below.